Satellites have been used, particularly by researchers, over many years to investigate different aspects of the Earth's environment. The big change today is moving towards that being an operational process. We're starting to look at hyperspectral imaging, where you can look at a whole different uh, number of spectral bands to be able to detect different objects, different materials, different gases um, around the planet. So I think these things, as they get developed more and more, you're going to see them in satellite applications and, and benefiting uh, what, we look, what we see here on Earth. The satellites are able to go over and look day after day, you know, year after year for decades. And so we've learned all sorts of things about the ocean that we really only could hint at before. Satellites give us the ability to look at every part of the planet, from the poles to the hot deserts, and we can do that and get information on a whole range of variables. It's been particularly important for us to use satellite observations to answer the big questions of climate change, to look before that at ozone depletion. And actually satellite observations have helped to change government's policies. So if we want to do that, we need to be really sure that the data we produce are accurate, reliable, and we understand the errors, uncertainties in them. The so programme of activities coming out of the European Space Agency right now called the Copernicus Programme. Um, it, it's a really game-changing uh, uh, development in the, uh, again, the access to data. Well, I think the UK is doing a great job enabling access through um, organizations such as the Satellite Applications Catapult that's helping small, medium-sized enterprises access that data and use that data for uh, various applications. Um, ESA is doing an amazing part in providing free data from their new Sentinel program um, to to the public at large to, again, use that data for the application and benefit of uh, humanity.